You know, Dave and I start our day in Washington, D.C. today and talking about the great message that the President delivered last night at the State of the Union. And just think of what we've been able to achieve in the first year of this administration. The economic prosperity that he has brought forth to this country, the safety and security that he's brought forth, he's just getting started. And so, look, I and Dave both had a privilege of being part of an amazing campaign. Some of them came along a little later. I won't say who, right? They came along a little later on the campaign. But look, we're all together now, right? Because the alternative would have been a disaster. The trick would have been a disaster. And the reason Dave and I came up here tonight is very clear. This is one of the few congressional races in the country that we have an opportunity to have a Republican beat a sitting Democrat. Okay? I cannot impress upon you how important this seat is right now. Okay? We just saw today Trey Gowdy announced he's going to retire from Congress, not seeking re-election. That makes it 34 Republicans this cycle so far have said they're not going to run or going to seek a different office. The Democrats just have to win 25 seats. We don't have a lot of seats where we can be on the offense. This is one of them. I want to come here tonight. Steve's a friend. He's been a friend of mine for a long time. And I want to thank you for supporting him because we need people who are going to go to Washington and support the Trump agenda. And this seat right here in New Jersey is ground zero. So thank you very, very much for being here tonight. Dave? Thank you. Thank you. Of course, stole all my lines. That was exactly what I was going to say. Look, you know, I, and I, uh, Citizens United, uh, has, uh, you know, supported Steve in the past. He is a true warrior. Uh, he is somebody who's been out there in the trenches every day, for day in and day out for years, fighting the good fight. We need him to uh, to win this seat in November. It's vital. It's what ex exactly what Corey said. There's only about six or seven seats in the whole country. We've beaten all the rest of the Democrats that are in seats that can be beaten. So this is one of the few that we are on offense. We need to win this seat. It could be the difference maker in keeping the House or not. That's what we're talking about here. We're talking about having an agenda uh, that is to make America great again post-November or an agenda that is going to be impeach the president. Because right. that's what the right. left wants. And they're going to stop at nothing to do it. So we, this seat right here, everybody in this room, I appreciate every single one of you uh, for coming, for supporting uh, Steve in this important race uh, and supporting uh, the conservative movement conser you know, uh, and our conservative ideals that we all hold so uh, importantly. And to help the president in his agenda. Uh, making America great again. And so Corey and I, you know, Corey, I was there at the end. I came on with uh, Steve Bannon and Kellyanne Conway to, for the general election. And Corey put together a, a great uh, set of primaries. How many did you win? Well, not 38 primaries and caucuses. I, I knew the answer, but he loved to say it. sign some books for folks and, and take some pictures and whatever you'd like, but we're here for you, so we appreciate it. Let's just uh, get to it.